King Charles has reportedly decided to use his powers to reign in his youngest son Prince Harry after the Duke allegedly crossed the line. Britain's new monarch appears furious at Harry's insulting remarks and derogatory nicknames for royal aides, according to a royal expert. Hello and welcome to Royal Insider. If you're here for the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss all our royal updates. Meghan Markle's husband, who refers to his three courtiers as bees, flies and wasps, wrote, I've dealt with courtiers all my life, and there are many. But now I mainly deal with three, all middle A's. Elderly white male, who managed to consolidate power through a series of bold Machiavellian tactics. Royal expert Robert Jobson said anyone with a similar knowledge of the workings of the royal family would know what the extremely offensive comments were aimed at. However, a source close to the matter claims that King Charles has devised a strategy to reign in Harry, who has crossed the line into anger. Prince Harry's book Spare has become the fastest-selling non-fiction book of all time, selling more than 400,000 copies in hardcover, ebook, and audio formats on its first day of publication. Meanwhile, the Duke of Sussex's relationship with older brother Prince William is currently strained, but Prince Harry revealed in an interview with Tom Bradby that the two had a brief exchange at their grandmother Queen Elizabeth II's funeral in September, as seen in the video. Below As he and William walked behind their late mother's coffin from Kensington Palace to Westminster Abbey in September 1997, talking about how surreal Princess Diana's funeral had been, Harry said, My brother and I walked the same path recently and we were alone the other we joked, and at least we know the way. But other than that, it's very similar. The only difference is in the level of emotions. Because our grandmothers have ended their lives. I think it has more to do with celebration, respect and appreciation for what has been accomplished. And our mothers were taken when they were too young. When Harry and wife Meghan received the heartbreaking news of the Queen's death, they were already in the UK getting involved with the charities they had set out to do. The Duke had already started a charter flight to Balmoral to be at his grandmother's bedside, but unfortunately he did not arrive in time. Harry wrote in his memoir Spare, as the plane started to descend, my phone lit up. SMS from Mega. Call me as soon as you get it. I checked the BBC website. Grandma is gone. The father is the king. The Sussexes moved to the U.S. in 2020 after stepping down from their royal duties and now live in Montecito with their children Archie and Lilybeth. 